We have a new Qualcomm today. The technologies we have developed can be very relevant to a number of different industries beyond mobile, and that is the mission that we have been pursuing since we outlined our strategy back in 2021. By 2030, we now have visibility of our TAM to be to the order of $900 billion, 50 billion connected edge devices, and that is the opportunity that we have been executing on. And we created a framework for growth, and we've been following that diligently. First, we select an industry that we believe there's an attractive SAM and it undergoing a technology transition where our technologies are going to be very relevant. Then we identify the inflection point happening in that industry. We'll develop the platform and acquire when we have to, and then we drive scale. That's the framework. AI is the best tailwind to that strategy. AI is now emerging as the new user interface to all the devices around us. But what we have done is built up a large amount of foundational technology that allows us to drive Gen AI at the edge. What can run on the cloud last year, you can run on a device this year. Qualcomm is leading edge AI and making it very easy for any developer to train on the cloud and run on Qualcomm. The AI PC has arrived and it's based on the Snapdragon X series combined with Microsoft's Copilot Plus. We introduced our X series in the fall of 2023. And at that point, we handily beat our competitors in performance and power dissipation. So we waited an entire year for these competitors to show up and they're still not good enough. Performance per watt leadership now belongs to Snapdragon. In five years, we expect 90% of the devices to be AI PCs. That's where the world is going, and we have the performance advantage. XR is the next computing platform. Gen AI will drive scale in XR. Snapdragon is the clear leader in all XR categories. We have scaled globally to keep extending our lead in automotive continuing to keep evolving our SOC architecture to keep up with these innovations. The industry continues to build on the Snapdragon digital chassis. Gen AI will further reinforce the digital cockpit transition, and we are ready for it. We're now moving, as you know, to scale. It's being reflected in five consecutive quarters of record revenue in automotive, 45 billion design win pipeline translating into revenue as we have new cars launched. We're working with all major OEMs and tier ones, and we're gonna expand now to two-wheelers and micro-mobility. The new industrial IoT strategy is to build a scalable blueprint for every vertical and develop bespoke solutions as needed. And we are doing this organically. To realize this, there are three main catalysts. Number one, connectivity for all edge endpoints. Number two, intelligence at the edge. And finally, end-to-end -end AI thinking across the workflow from edge to cloud. If you look at IoT today, it's already a scale business for us with $5.4 billion in revenue. And going forward, as digital transformation happens, it is going to drive demand for the technologies that we have. By the end of the decade, we're targeting a mix of 50-50 for handset and non-handsets with auto and IoT combined. We're talking about revenue growth from $8.3 billion to $22 billion. We're positioned to benefit from the proliferation of on-device AI across all edge devices. The story of Qualcomm is always a story of collaboration and joint innovation. That picture is fundamentally changed with the number of partners in all of those new industries that is going to be part of the Qualcomm growth and diversification story. Our mission is really to enable intelligent computing everywhere. And that's what we wanted to highlight to you today as well as show you how we've been executing. Thank you.